Okay, let's go live. Okay, here we are. We're here live we and in person. I'm still spinning around here. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Set down. Day is what day is today? It is almost the last day of 2020. It is December 30th, 2020, and we are here to do a market update and really just a New Year's greeting. Hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday week, whatever you are up to. I'm sure it's something new from previous years. <laughs> well, I think it's actually New Year's Eve. Eve. It is New yes. Year's Eve Eve. New Year's Eve Eve. So we're coming to you with the last show of the year. We haven't done a market update since September 7th. Oh my gosh, it's been that long. So this is going to be kind of a year-end wrap-up. We don't have December's numbers in yet. However, we can wrap you up through basically... November. Like end, of, end of November. And some of my numbers are year-to-date. Uh, so they include um, all the way up to now, um, but we will have official numbers by the second week of January. We will be back to talk about how the whole year of 2020 turned out, and I am excited to see the, the numbers because it has been a roller coaster ride of statistics this year. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it the COVID year, COVID-19 numbers for 2020. It doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Uh, there's a lot of sick people out there. Uh, our hearts and prayers are with you. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest of us that uh, are alive and healthy and well, uh, we're glad you're here. And we're glad to wrap up this year and get on to next year, in, a, in the next couple of days anyway. Yes, so we are excited for what 2021 has in store uh, because no one could have predicted this year. So it'll be exciting to see what's in store for 2021. Um, but we can start with some, just um, give you an update on the market. Inventory continues to be extremely tight. Uh, it has been uh, that way and things that are coming on, the market are selling quickly with multiple offers over asking if they are clean and ready to go. Uh, then that has been the, the case really in all the price ra uh, ranges, uh, lower price ranges, of course, getting um, multiple double digit offers, you know, 10, 11 offers. So it is very busy out there. If you're thinking about selling a property, an investment property or a vacation home, uh, it is a great time to do that because uh, you have the pleasure of probably fielding more than one offer at this time. Yeah, that would be terrific. Or if you're in the market to buy a property, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a home, investment property, uh, vacation home, I guess that would be kind of the whole gamut in the buyer end of it interest rates have never been better. Uh -huh. So you're absolutely going to get a great deal on the interest rates. Um, when you compare that to the pricing, I think the pricing and the interest rates, uh, they correlate. They absolutely do. So it's a buyer's market and a seller's market as we wrap up 2020. Yeah, if you're watching us live, I see we have quite a few people here watching us live. Give us some comments, some hearts, and some love, because uh, that's how the Facebook algorithm works. Uh, so let's get to my... Are we, are we algorithm? We are algorithmed. Oh, we are. Okay. Hey, Destiny. <laughs> and there is another viewer there. Hello, Eric. Nice to see you. Can you get my board? Uh, yes, I can. Right and we will go through um, our statistics. I know you guys probably can't read my board, uh, but I have quite a few things on here that are very exciting. So depending on what uh, statistical... Uh, data I'm using these numbers skew a little bit but they're generally in this range so the top half here is November comparing November of 19 to 20 which is really not fair because normally the peak in our market is in June uh, where we sell usually have the most numbers of properties sold is in June well this year that whole curve got pushed forward so normally you wouldn't have seen numbers like this uh, but it's just they are what they are we can only report the statistics as they are so in Ventura, I picked just Ventura, Oxnard, and Camarillo um, just because that's what fit on my board. And so the average sales price in November in Ventura was $845,000. That's up 27% from a year ago. Oh my gosh. So if you owned a property that was worth $667,518 last year, 2019, your property's worth $845,000? Maybe. 
It's just average sale prices. I like the maybe. And then the, you're going to have to get with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis yes, to figure that out. We're happy to meet with you and talk about your property specifically. No problem. So then days on market here, and uh, these this even seems a little bit long for me, but this is what the statistics are. Uh, that it was days on market, 37 days in November of 20 versus 65 days uh, a year ago in November. That's down 43%. And I would say that the running uh, days on market right now might be around 30, 31 days. I mean, I think less than that based on just how fast the lender can do the loan. And of course, if you're paying cash, which we've seen a lot of cash in this market uh, in the competition, uh, they, they can close faster than that. Well, and sometimes even in this market, uh, it's red hot. It's been red hot for a long time. You still, uh, sellers are still accepting contingent offers with, with the right offer. So they take a little longer. So yeah, even though it seems like, just like on TV, hey, all cash will close in 10 days. That is really not the norm. I, I think I'm going to hold with the 37 days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold well, with this. And you'll see, because the next one here in Oxnard, uh, average sold price in November 2020, 670000 versus 601000 a year ago. That's up 11%. And this is the average set, uh, set sales price. So that includes in Oxnard, especially we've got oceanfront, beachfront property, all the way you know down to starter homes. I mean, there's a huge gamut of, of product there. Yeah, but perfect. the days on market is 51 days uh, in November of 2020 versus 77. Um, so that is down 34 percent month over month, year over year. So the days on market is absolutely just showing you how hot the market is. Right. People are. Multiple offers, things are going. Uh, Oxnard is the biggest city, of course, in Ventura County. That's right. Camarillo, average uh, sales price seven sixty two uh, versus seven twenty nine. That's only up four percent, which seemed a little, you know, the least amount that's up there. But that would be a lot in a normal year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then days on market. Look at this: thirty days. Uh, uh, the average uh, days on market versus seventy six. That's down sixty one percent. So if you put a house on the market in Camarillo that's clean and ready to go, you better be ready to move. <laughs> Start packing. Start packing. And then I just put a note on here, the total sales volume up 100%. So this is actually for, Vent for Ventura, but they were similar for all the cities. $44 million in sales a year ago in Nove November to $88 million. I mean, that just shows you that the sales curve went forward in the year. Uh, but that's up a hundred percent. Now wait a minute. So the forty-four million should be on the twenty nineteen side. And the eighty-eight million should be right. On the okay. But I was just make, I was just making a oh, note because okay. the hundred percent there was the point that it's up a hundred percent. I just think that's unbelievable. Yeah, well, that's Vegas odds right there. Right? Yeah, I mean <laughs> anything that you have that goes up a hundred percent is pretty good, right? Yeah, sign me up. So then these Ventura County, I just did these uh, the year to date. So these are rolling 11 months uh, of, of the year. So the average sales price in the county, 787000 versus 710 so up 11%. Uh, and then active listings um, up 12% and days on market overall down 13%. Per, per, uh, percent. But this is why the average days on market for the county, 65%. I still thought that was high. 65 days. I mean, 65 days, excuse me. Yes, yes. And the 683, now that number's a little surprising when everybody's saying how tight the inventory is, right? right? That's what I thought. Yeah. That's why some of the statistics, when you look at them, um, they are what they are, but not necessarily how we feel the market is and, and the conversations we're having with our, with, with our clients. Yeah, and we have a question here from our viewer. Um, you know, people are leaving... Uh, the bigger cities, we found a lot of buyers in our market here at the beach um, in Ventura and Ventura County from LA County and also from the Bay Area. So people that now their needs are changing, they can now work from home, their kids are at school online, they have a lot of freedom, uh, they can move to other places and of course who would want to live here in Ventura County? <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, voted one of the best in the world, weather-wise. Right. So then I put on here the absorption rate. There were just a lot of charts and graphs, but I just picked a couple of them out that I thought were, were really amazing with the steepest curves. The absorption rate from June of 20, which normally is the height of our market, um, but we had a slow April and May because we got shut down the second week of March. Um, we were non-essential in there for a while. Then we picked back up 
but April and May normally would be where we're ramping up to closings in June, and that didn't happen this year, so they got moved a little bit forward. So absorption rate in June of 20, which is normally our high month, was 3.2, and then straight down to November, remember it's 2.5. So, I mean, almost a full point down in, absor in absorption rate. So that's just amazing. And then um, the sold to list price, so we are over 100%. It is 100.4% sales price because things are closing over their listed price in the MLS. So I've never seen that, ever, that the actual sold average. Yeah, but the property still needs to be priced correctly. So if somebody reduces the list price, a price reduction, price improvement, uh, whatever you want to call it, they lower the price on their listing, and then it sells at that price, that is considered 100%. So, but it's never over 100%. But so, it's never yeah. over. Right, correct. And I was just kind of shocked at the, this chart that it was over 100% because these are averages. And so to get it to be over 100% sold to list price means it's not just not a hot seller's market, it's smoking hot. It's over asking hot. <laughs> now, did we answer the question? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I want to make um, sure that... Uh... And then I just put a note on here about mortgage rates because things, you know, everyone's talking about mortgage rates. Well, let's talk about it. So in 2018, the average mor mortgage rate was 4.55. No. Which I know. Was, you know <laughs> we, everyone was kind of amazed at how low it was then. 2019, the average rate, 3.66. Well, everyone was like so excited if they got a 3 in front of their mortgage. Are you kidding me? Well, guess what? 2020, it's 2.66 right now. Wow. And that's just 18, 19, and 20. So I looked the the mortgage chart, the statistic, uh, the graph I was looking at had it was you know many many years. So that the very high of the graph was in October of 1981. And what was the interest rate then? Anybody have a guess? My viewers that are watching, let's see if we get a guess in before I give it away. Well, now if we go with trends here, and I'm just going to rough this out in my head, 4.5. 3.6, 2.6, so we're basically looking at 1.6 if we're sitting here a year from now on December 30th, 2021. Wow. You Are you, you willing to make that prediction? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just looking at trends. No, no. I'm not, I'm not predicting that. No. I, I think now's the time to uh, either refinance, uh, buy a property, or definitely want to be in real estate. That's all there is to it. Okay, is your chart here? Okay, well, Eric is closer than Destiny, can and, and uh, you can. The average interest rate in October of 1981 was 18.44%. Oh my gosh, sign me up. As long as I'm the lender. lender. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just a, a, like a lifetime ago, different market from the heading towards under 2%. We were at a luxury Berkshire Hathaway event, uh, and the speaker was predicting that interest rates were going to be at 2%. And the whole room was kind of, you know, really? 2%? Well, here we are, 2.66%. <laughs> yeah, now they didn't say how we were going to get there, but they said they had it on good information that that's where they were headed. So they either had some huge insight or a crystal ball. Could have been a little bit of both. Yeah, so Shining that ball the... Uh, the uh, another area about buyers, another interesting thing is, as we've had some a little time to get some statistics and get some movement here in this market the last nine months in this very unusual time, um, there are five the five top things I thought you guys might like, like to hear that buyers are looking for now that uh, most people's worlds have completely changed. People are reprioritizing their time and their needs. Um, and their budgets and what they can afford, whether they want to buy a new primary home or buy a second home somewhere. And here are the top five. Anybody have any guesses? Um, let's start at number five. Number five on the wish list, one to five. You want to start at one or five? I think we better start at five and work our way to the crescendo. That's of, it? Yes. Okay. The fifth most important thing to buyers right now in this market is a home office. And frankly, I was surprised that a home office office was number five I would have thought it would be further up the line because if you're at home and homeschooling young kids and trying to work at home maybe you and your spouse are both trying to work at home I would think a home office would have been further up but number five a desire for the buyers is a home office well I think people have been thinking about that one for a long time I know when we built this house 
uh, our first consideration was a home office. That uh, we wanted to be the home office where somebody could walk in and come in the office without seeing the rest of the house. I, I remember having that conversation a number right. of years ago. Well, and our business is all the time. So our home office has been critical since day one. Yeah, very um, busy. But I think a lot of people have been doing that, you know, bedrooms into offices and now more offices into offices. So number five makes sense just based on the fact that people have been thinking about that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, number four is indoor entertainment. So room to uh, entertain and, and have be with your fa uh, family and extra room inside because that's just the way this year has gone. Number three is outdoor areas, uh, of course, to, to entertain and just be with your family if you're home all the time. Like swimming um, pool, tennis courts, uh, how about grass for the dog? Or just grass, right. <laughs> um, number two is a fitness area area that you have access to the gym since our gyms are still closed here in California um, you know much to our chagrin but they are closed generally there are a few that are open here and there shout out um, to those that are helping people stay healthy and as we get closer to January 1st a couple days away I'm sure that's going to be one of our resolutions yes we uh, it's, it's time Christmas cookie season is behind us <laughs> And the number one thing that people are looking for is space and privacy. So that is number one. So to recap those, I will go top to bottom. Number one, things your buyers are looking for space and privacy. Number two, a fitness area. Number three, outdoor space. Number four, indoor entertainment space. And number five, home office. I think that's just changing the way people are just reprioritizing. Like you've never had such a jolt because normally people move at life Ch uh, changes. They get married, they get divorced, somebody dies, a job relocation, um, job gain, job loss, you know, all the normal kind of life reasons that people move. Well, that whole, you know, kind of world got tilted on the side uh, with this whole COVID thing because it, everybody had a chance to reevaluate what they wanted to do and how they wanted to, to live in their homes. Well, and I think, you know, based on this survey, I think they're almost interchangeable in my mind. But I think if you took this list and you applied it to your new home or your existing home, they would all five work for sure. Well, but, yeah, because what if you didn't have one of those things that, that you really wanted? Yeah. So you'd have to fi figure out what your, you know, time and budget and then where you wanted to be. Because we've had a lot of our clients are moving... Out, uh, out of state, some moving back in state, they want to be in the weather, our great weather. So, but they have that chance right now to totally reevaluate their needs and their family's needs. I know, it's just so fantastic. And we have some big breaking news coming up. We do? <laughs> <laughs> we have breaking news. What is that, dear? <laughs> breaking news, can we put the, uh, the bar? <laughs> headline news. Yes, well, I don't know if it's headline news, but it's definitely breaking news. Yeah, so it's starting in January, I'm moving into the coaching field of real estate. So I'm still going to be doing my day job, still exactly what I'm doing now, but I'm going to help more people achieve the kind of success that we've achieved. Mm -hmm. So if you know if you know anyone looking for accountability, um, someone with 40 years of sales experience, here we are. So yeah, I was very excited about that. I guess you had forgotten about that. Yeah, no, I didn't know what, which which part of the of the breaking news it was going to be. <laughs> Do we have more breaking news? There's there's always lots of things up our sleeve. So anyway, thank you for watching. We always um, love to come live and bring you guys the market updates on what's happening here in Ventura County. And if you want to talk about re real estate, we do too. Anytime we are available, um, GaryandLisa.com. You can visit us there. Um, we'll be happy to talk to you about your real estate needs. Absolutely. GaryLisa.com. Your real estate edge.